So uh, Bob writes that in the last few days, that may be related to the latest OS updates, maybe not, the address book on my iOS devices has duplicate cards via my iCloud account uh, for each and every contact. The address book on my macOS devices has duplicate cards for iCloud and another set of the same cards in the on my Mac section. What's the best way to clean up this mess? Should I delete the on my Mac set of contacts? Uh, I don't know how to do that. Will the iCloud contact cards still be available to me when my internet goes down? So these are good questions. Um, th the answer is yes. Uh, your iCloud contacts and calendars are synced with your device from iCloud, not loaded via an iCloud like web view or something. So you do have a copy of them on your device at all times, regardless of whether you're connected to the internet. Now, if a change is made elsewhere and you haven't connected and, and you, you, therefore your phone hasn't synced, it won't see that change, but you'll have it right there. So that, y yes, you're fine. You don't need to have things on my Mac. In fact, I would say that my advice for most people is don't put things in the on my Mac section, just leave them in iCloud and that way they're synced and all of that. Of course, you might have a reason to do it on my, on my Mac, but make that choice intentionally. As far as removing duplicates, uh, the first thing I do is I go on my Mac, I go into contacts, I go to file, export, and save a contacts archive. That is the easiest thing from which you will ever restore your contacts database. Yes, you can do it from Time Machine. Yes, you can do it other ways. But creating this very specific snapshot, probably the wrong word to use, in time of your contacts database and saving it in an easy to find spot is is going to save you from headaches down the road. So do that. File, export, contacts, archive. Uh, then also on my Mac is where I would do this. I would go to the card menu and choose look for duplicates. And it's kind of a, a scary thing to say yes to because, you, well, you say merge is what happens. You, it'll show you. I did this the other day. I do this probably every six months when a question like this comes in, John. And somehow it always finds duplicates, which is a little bit unnerving. But it found 62 duplicate cards and 54 duplicated entries. And it gave me some options. But one of them was cancel the entire idea, of course. But the other was merge. And then I could choose to also merge cards that have the same name, but different info, like different phone numbers or addresses. I did not do that because I thought, well, let's say... Uh, it, you know, I have someone who, you know, father and son share the same name. I definitely don't want to merge them together without knowing what I'm doing. And this doesn't show me those things. So I just chose merge and, and moved on. But of course, I shot a backup first. So that is my that's how I would fix a duplicate contacts issue.